Hi, welcome to Simply NAS Media. My name is Sam, and today we have the QNAP TBS 453A. This is actually QNAP's new NAS book. Uh, without further ado, let's jump right into this one. Of course, you notice the box, it's not very big. So we'll go ahead and pull the lock tab up, go ahead and open up the front flap here, pull this one up, pull these out. All right, now with the box open, uh, when you go to pull the device out, you'll notice that it's actually inside the accessories box. So if you'll give us just a minute here, we'll go ahead and unbox this one, and we'll be right back. All right, so now that we have the device unpackaged, as you can tell, it's actually a pretty cool looking little device. I mean, it's got all the, the nice markings on the top, the nice paint job. Um, of course, curtain, yeah. on the front of it, you'll notice that you have the, your power button, you have volume controls. Now this device actually has a built-in speaker. And then over here on this side, you'll notice that you'll have your LEDs, of course, in the center. And then you'll have an SD card reader on the front. You'll also have two USB ports and your one-touch USB copy. Now on the back of the device, you'll notice you have your power connection. You have your, your main Ethernet connection. And then you'll have pretty much four connections here, four Ethernet connections that you can actually use for tying into, say, other computers or anything else you wanted to tie this into. Uh, then you'll also have two microphone inputs, an audio output. You'll also have two USB 3 ports and two HDMI connections. All right. And that really covers this device for the most part. Um, it is a very small device, but it packs a pretty good punch for what it is. Um, it does not have the capability for HDD drives, um, but it does have the capability for M.2 drives, um, kind of a, an SSD style system, uh, much more compact, uh, but packs a lot of potency out of this device. And that really wraps up a lot of the features about this particular NAS device. So let's take a look at the accessories box. Slide this over here for a minute. Now in the accessories box itself, of course, you remember, you need to take the device out of this one. Um, pretty simple. Go ahead and pull this piece out of the way. Go ahead and pick up this bottom insert here. All right, inside the box, you have your power supply for the device. Also have the power cord connecting the wall plug to the power supply. Now this little bag right here, it's going to have some interesting little pieces in it. These are actually the heat sinks that you'll put on the M.2 drives. Then, of course, you'll have your two Ethernet connections, two Ethernet cables. Then you'll have the remote control for the device itself. Then you'll have your quick start and quick installation guide. All right, so now that we've gone over the accessory pack, let's go ahead and take a look at this device itself as far as some of the features. Uh, this is actually the first NAS on the market to use strictly the M.2 drives. This particular device also comes in configurations of a 4 gig and an 8 gig model. Um, would have a really good place as far as a, say, a conferencing scenario, um, where you just need to save a lot of information that can be accessed very quickly. Um, also, if you really want to put it in a home application, you could. Um, all right. So if you have any questions on this one, or if you want to leave any comments, you can go ahead and leave a comment in the section below. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit like. Uh, if you want to subscribe to our videos, go ahead and do so. This way you can stay up to the, the latest and greatest information that we have uh, and the new devices we have coming out on the market. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can feel free to send us an email at sales at Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.